Hey, what's happening? I'm R. Allen Ingalls, and I'm going to be showing you a demo of the Davicom Site Monitoring System. Leading telecom and broadcast operators in both the television and radio industries around the world rely on Davicom solutions to remotely monitor their transmitter sites and unattended studios, allowing them to reduce their operating costs and downtime. These best-in-class standalone monitoring and control units interface easily with virtually any type of equipment, which ensures maximum flexibility and expandability. Here we have a Davicom Mac two radios, a primary and a backup, and my laptop running Dablink. The Dablink communication software graphics editor allows for the creation of workspaces that reflect the exact setup of equipment at each remote site. Users can have their own customized password protected workspace and create multiple view panels with diagrams and even photos. You can connect the Dablink software to the Davicom unit via IP address or the included USB cable. For example, we'll use these two plots here to simulate the rise and fall of the radio's forward and reflective power. If I turn this pot, you can see the forward RF power rise in the Dablink software running on my laptop. So what does all this mean for you? Well, in combination with a variety of sensors, the line of Davicom units have nearly limitless possibilities when it comes to remote monitoring control. For example, you can configure a Davicom unit to automatically turn on a backup whenever a primary radio loses power. Keep in mind, this functionality isn't limited to the mobile or base station units we're using for this demo. Where this can really come in handy is at a repeater site with a primary and backup repeater. Another useful scenario could be swapping from one radio to another when the reflective power of one gets too high. High reflective power is usually a good indication of a problem with an antenna or cabling. So we'll turn this pot on the Mac simulator to simulate the reflective power on this radio increasing. As you can see, once the reflective power raises to a level we've determined to be too high, the Davicom turns off the radio with the high reflective power and turns on a backup. You'll notice an alert pop up on the Davicom screen to alert you that there's been a failure. The Davicom will even email you or call you to let you know that there's a problem. This way, even though the unit has detected a problem and automatically swapped to the backup radio, you're aware of the failure immediately. And while still fully operational on the backup radio, you can assess the situation and start the correct course of action to repair the primary radio. And that's just a small taste of what this unit can serve up. To learn more, dial the number on your screen. We'd love to talk to you in more detail about how the Davicom system can benefit you. I'm R. Allen Ingalls with Area Wide Communications, and I hope you've enjoyed this demo of the Davicom Site Monitoring System.